Good morning, students. Welcome to our English class. Hope you all good and safe. I am Saranya, and I am here to teach you countable and uncountable nouns. At the end of this class, you will be able to define countable and uncountable nouns, identify countable and uncountable nouns, identify the use of articles before countable and uncountable nouns, use suitable words before uncountable nouns to indicate quantity or quality. Students, what do you see here? So there are pens, apples, sugar, and water. So what is the difference between these two images and these two images? Well, I can count the number of pens and the number of apples. So I can count one, two. There are two pens. Over here, one, two, three, three apples. But can you count the number of sugar here? It's impossible to count sugar. Can you count the water in this glass? It is impossible to do that. So, sugar and water cannot be counted. Whereas, pens and apples can be counted. We know that nouns are names of person, place, animal and things. And depending whether a noun can be counted or not, it is classified either a countable or an uncountable noun. So let us see about countable noun. Countable nouns. Countable noun refer to things that we can count. So countable nouns are the names of the object, people or things that we can count. So how to identify countable noun? So when you get an answer for the question how many, then the things refer to a countable noun. So, if I ask you, how many books were there? Two books. When I ask you, how many flowers were there? One, two, three, four. You get an answer, four flowers. So, books and flowers are countable noun. It can also have a number before it. For example, I have two cars. John has three color pens. So, countable noun can also have a number before it. Countable nouns have both singular and plural forms. So, when a countable noun is in singular, we say it student. But when it is in plural, we say it as student. Likewise, dog. Dogs, table, tables, pencil, pencils, piano, pianos. So, a countable noun can be in singular or plural. Countable noun takes a, an or the before them. So, a, an, very important. They otherwise called as indefinite articles so when a countable noun is in singular form we will be in need of an indefinite article for example she bought an umbrella so here umbrella is in singular form so here we have used the word and she bought an umbrella likewise I own a house. Where is the book? We can also use words such as some, a few, many before countable nouns to express quantity. How many sisters do you have? I have a few books in my backpack. She bought some bananas. No article is used if the noun is plural and refers to something in general sense. So, for example, bottles can break. So, here no article is used before the Plural countable noun. 
So when a countable noun is in plural form, we can use them alone or use words like some, few or many. Collective nouns are countable. For example, the neighborhood residents formed an association. So here an association is a countable noun. Proper nouns are countable in some context. For example, there are many Russians living in this colony. So here Russians is a countable noun. So let us identify countable noun in a sentence. Alex has four pencils. So here pencils is a countable noun. The book has 200 pages in it. So here pages is a countable noun. I did it many times when I was young. So here times is a countable noun. I have two dogs. So here dogs is a countable noun. The children are playing in the garden. So here children is a countable noun. Uncountable noun refers to things that cannot be counted. So uncountable nouns are the names of the things which we cannot count using numbers like rice, butter, milk. We can't count using numbers. And how do we identify uncountable noun? So if we get an answer for the question, how much? Then the things refer to are uncountable noun. So if I ask you how much rice is there, then you will surely be able to answer that there is 300 gram of rice or 1 kg of rice. Uncountable noun always takes singular forms. For example, water, butter, salt. We won't say it as waters, butters, salt. So, uncountable noun always takes singular forms. We don't use a or an before the uncountable noun. The is used with uncountable nouns when they refer to something specific. For example, the petrol at this outlet is not pure. So here, the is used with uncountable noun when they refer to something specific. We use quantifiable words such as some, a lot of, much, a bit of before uncountable nouns. For example, little oil is good for health. So here, little is used before uncountable noun, oil. Sam needs some sugar. So here, some is used before an uncountable noun, sugar. Sara drinks a lot of water. So here, these words only gives us an idea of quantity and not the exact number of the uncountable noun. We can use a measuring units before uncountable nouns. For example, a slice of bread. So here, when I say bread, it is an uncountable noun. And to refer a quantity of bread, I will say a slice of bread. So here, slice is a countable noun that we are using with the uncountable noun. Similarly, we don't say one milk or two milk. We say a bottle of milk. So we actually refer to the container of milk. We can also say a liter of milk. Likewise, a piece of advice, a pinch of 
thought. So always remember that to refer a quantity of uncountable nouns, we use a or an, whichever is correct with the countable noun. Then we use of, then our uncountable noun. An uncountable noun also refers to abstract things that we cannot see or touch. So, abstract nouns are usually uncountable. For example, intelligence, poverty, love, courage. So, to excel in any sport, one needs to have courage and determination. So, we can't count courage and determination. So, it is a uncountable noun. Let us identify uncountable noun in a sentence. I need some drinking water. So, here water is a uncountable noun. Bring me a cup of soup. So, here soup is an uncountable noun. This news is very important. So, here news is an uncountable noun. I love listening music. Music is an uncountable noun. Don't forget to buy a bag of rice when you go shopping. So, here a bag of rice is an uncountable noun. Let us solve book bag questions. Write C for countable nouns and U for uncountable nouns. Day, countable noun. Gold, uncountable noun. Research, uncountable noun. Weather, uncountable noun. Four, countable noun. Page, countable noun. Failure. Uncountable noun. Rise. Uncountable noun. Thank you students.